Hey, Larry Vera here, and today's question goes as follows. Does every blog post need to have keywords? Um, there's a long answer and a short answer. I'm going to give you somewhere in the middle answer. Um, when you're first starting to blog, I would say that you absolutely want to use keywords in every single post that you do, and you want to optimize each post for the search engines. After you have some subscribers, like say maybe 500 readers a month or something like that, you can be a little bit more lax on keywords and just write content that your readers really want to um, read. And you kind of mix it up, you know, back and forth. I've read some people say that, you know, you shouldn't write for search engines, you should write for people. But on the flip side of that, if you don't write for search engines, you're never going to get ranked. So when you're first starting out your first I don't know 20 30 40 post definitely keep your keywords in mind especially if you're backlinking um, and you're using anchor text and a whole bunch of other stuff but <clears throat> for right now let's just take a look at what a basic post kind of should look like now I already started this post but basically I'm not even gonna use this I just wanted to show this for you as a demonstration so what we have here is your title okay so in your title you're going to want to use your keyword phrase. See, I use my keyword phrase. You're going to want to use what's called uh, heading tags. I have one, two, and three. In each heading tag, okay, you're going to want to use your keyword phrase. All right. To I've been asked, you know, how do I set one of them up? I know that sounds like a silly question, but for those of you that don't know, if you want to make a header tag a heading tag you just take whatever words you want to be in the header come over here and click you know you have heading one heading two heading three and so forth and so on you just click that tag and it changes everything but we're not going to do that go back okay so it's as simple as that so in your h1 tag you want your keyword phrase and then you got some content here in your content you're also going to want to use your keyword phrase you know sometimes you're going to maybe want to bold your keyword phrase Sometimes you're going to want to underline your keyword phrase. In any case, try not to put um, your keywords, you know, for every, honestly, for every 100 words or so, maybe 150 words, 200 words, use your keyword phrase once. All right? Your, your, your blog post really should be about no less than 350 words. This is a little bit low right now, but about 350 words plus nothing less than 350. Okay? Um, here again, you see my H2 tag. I have my, you know, use your keyword phrase here also. You're going to want to use your keyword phrase in the content at least once or twice. And also you can italicize your keyword phrase. So you can underline it. You can bold it. You can, you can italicize it. And if you look at a lot of uh, different blog posts, you'll see that this is the format or the setup that they're using. And you're going to want to use images. I use Zamanta. And I used insights to find different images based on the keywords that I'm going for. So as an example, let's just say I was looking for fish, right? I would do a search here. And it's going to find fish up and see some fish showed up. And what I will do, I'm just showing you this, is so now that I found some fish, check it out. Now I want to add an image. We'll put this fish here. Boom. See? There it is. Fish in my blog. <laughs> not that it'll make any sense, but you see I have some images here. So we're not done with our search engine optimization yet. So next we're going to go to the image, and you'll see you'll have either delete the image, edit the image. So we're going to go to the image, and you can change the size of your image, right? If you want it smaller, we'll make this smaller. And you can see how it has edit image title, edit uh, alternate text. You're going to want to enter alternate text. I'm going for what? I said key word phrase. Okay? So now I'm telling the search engines that this is uh, the key word phrase I'm going for. And we're going to update it. Oh, you can go to advanced settings and you can change some other stuff here. But really, most people just stick to here. Do you want your content to be on the left side, uh, right side? Do you want your content to be um, underneath the picture, to the right side of the picture, none, or to the left, you know, blah, blah. Um, generally, if you're using other people's images, you need to give attribution links, right? So anyways, most important thing here to realize is edit alternate text, 
add your keyword phrase, update, and say I change the size of it. You're going to want to do the same thing for every picture. You're going to want to go over here, edit the alternate text, keyword phrase, and I'll change the size to just because. Keyword phrase. Okay, so now what you're looking at here is a keyword rich blog post. It's in my title, it's in my h1 tag, it's in my h2 tag, right? It's in my h3 tag, which the keyword I'm going for in this post is keyword phrase, just for demo purposes. Um, and I still want to make this post look kind of good, so I want to add some related content to it maybe, right? And one more thing that you might want to consider, let's go to here. I'll take this post. Now this is just another post with, within my uh, blog itself, right? So I'm going to take this URL, go back to here, and I'm just going to pick any word you want. Sometimes if it, you know, it should match up with the post, whatever word you're using, but it doesn't have to. And I'm going to create what's called an internal link, right? One internal link. Uh, the search engines like to see internal linking on your blog, so every time you do a post, link to an old, older post and you'll be okay. So let's get a gander of what this looks like. We'll preview it. So what you see here in the titles, I have my keyword phrase. In the H1 tag, I have my keyword phrase. I got it bold. I got it underlined. Um, I got it italicized over here. Um, the keyword phrase is in my image here, here, and here. All right, so basically, and I got it down here. See, so look, keyword phrase in this title tag. What you see is a keyword rich blog post. Now, of course, you want your post to be interesting and you want it to make sense. This is just for the video that I'm making. But there you have it, a quick demonstration of how you should be making your post. And to go back to the original question, not that. <laughs> that. To go back to the original question, does every blog post need to have keywords? Yes, they should. Once you have subscribers and you have a following and you have readers, then you don't have to care so much about keywords. On this particular blog that I write in, my Larry Rivera blog, I don't really care much about keywords. But over on my um, Profit on Knowledge blog, absolutely, I'm always writing for keywords. So I hope this was helpful. Have an awesome day and we'll talk to you soon.